Amari Wakefield, seven yards deep, takes the first carry and gets four, maybe five. Plenty of time for Shermer to go underneath, and the catch is made by Cam Johnson, the true freshman. The Commodores from their own 31. This is Wakefield again, runs into one of his own offensive linemen and gets a few, second down. Establish your ground game. And this is the third time in four plays. They're trying to establish it, and nothing is doing as a sea of Gamecocks are there. Shermer, time, throws behind Johnson, incomplete, fourth down. Off Notre, not, Vanderbilt, rather, could have knocked off the Irish last week. This is Wakefield straight ahead. He gets enough before you run out of time. Play action. Shermer takes a chance. And he overthrows his intended receiver, and Rashad Fenton, leading rusher on the season, and he's in the backfield now. Middle of the field is open for the big tight end. Jared Pinckney is up in over 100 yards receiving last week in South Bend. Vaughn moves the chains and moves up near the 45-yard line. The transfer. On as the pocket completely collapses and Javon Kenlaw greets him on the stench home diet. <laughs> Second and 13. That ball is deflected and Shermer just knocks it back down to the. No snap. Shermer looks around and it's incomplete. Looks like his arm might have been redirected. For South Carolina, giving it right back though to Vanderbilt with great field position. Keyshawn Vaughn might have gotten one as Bryce. Shermer, middle of the field is open, and Pinkney is there to make the grab. And he rides Gamecock defenders to the 15-yard line on a third and two. And Vaughn follows George, and the last-second dive. But well, why not take a shot and get in the end zone? And it's Shermer who will get him the first down by diving ahead. Shermer has options and throws the swing pass to Vaughn. And Vaughn dives ahead near the two. Two, second and one from the two. Vaughn, first down and touchdown. Coming into this contest. Shermer is looking his way instead, yes, and throws inside the 40-yard line to Lipscomb. This is Vaughn following blockers and a first down run in the Gamecock territory. Perimeter if you get blocks out front. Sorts of formation issues for the Gamecocks here as Pinkney hears the foot. Right at the line of scrimmage, Lipscomb makes his second catch up near the 40. But offense is all the time. This is a third and eight. Shermer all kinds of time and it is caught. And a flag will come in too. It's Mason either a pro set power eye. George, the lead back, the fullback, opening a big hole. One run, see if the doors take a shot here. Instead, it's a first down run and more inside the 15 yard line. Lipscomb gets another touch inside the 10 and he's pushed out more tight ends in this formation. Wakefield moves the pile ahead to the two. See three tight ends in this formation with Wakefield again. Nothing doing. Lipscomb makes the catch. Did he have possession of as the doors start at their own 16-yard line? And Vaughn moving laterally will lose yardage as Aaron Sterling was there to greet him. Vaughn stutter steps for a moment. And gets a few. Pressure coming, and it skips in front. This is Kari Blessing game with the carry, the senior from Hunts. Nevertheless, those guys have been great in the passing game this year. Shermer into double coverage, tried to throw it to Lipscomb there, and he was with new faces. Here come the Gamecocks. Pressure picked up underneath throw but short of the first down as Lips. Shermer 
facing all kinds of pressure, throws it away. To give anything easy to Vanderbilt. Blasting game's got no place to go. Javon Kenlaw in the backfield. They win their battles again, and the ball comes out. And not getting enough here in September. Shermer swings one out to Blassing Game, who breaks a tackle and gets past the 30-yard line for a first down. That to pick up the first down and more. Now on the ground with Kari, and he gets nothing. Is Bryson out? South Carolina's pretty much lived in this game. He is the edge player. Shermer, wide open receiver, and he cannot hit Trey. Shermer, sack, ball out. Recovered by South Carolina and down inside the five-yard line. Situations, they can't hold up in protection. Wakefield. Still have a chance to convert on third. Quick throw. And Lipscomb trying to follow a block instead. Find some space back towards the rain's been coming down the last 20 minutes or so. Swinging out of the backfield to Vaughn. And Keyshawn's breaking tackles into Gamecock territory. And he's out of bounds inside the 40 yard line. Down to Chris Button. Big gain out of the backfield. Now takes the carry from Shermer straight ahead and dives for a few. Empty backfield. Shermer. Quick pass and throws it behind his intended target. Shermer, pocket breaks down and stepping in front of the football is Mon a nightmare so far in this game. Ball is on the ground. Williams hits Shermer as he tries to unload it. And it's a came out. Dari Dangbo ends up with a football. Shermer surveys the field and he's lucky he'll get another play that. This is Button says the rain is really starting to come down there on the field. Lipscomb up near the 15-yard line, third down from there. Shermer under trouble. The flag does come in, fourth down. 9.38 left, plenty of time for the Commodores if they can... Keep getting plays like this from Jared Pinckney. They're tight in. That's a live here in the second half. Wakefield is near midfield. Tackled there by South Carolina. Just have protected the ball. Shermer under pressure. Somehow escapes. Incomplete. He's looking full for five on third down in the second half. And they're not going to get it here. Wakefield gets stuffed. Fourth down, it's Air Carolina defensive line. Shermer's got nothing. Finally finds an in receiver open underneath, and that is a first down catch by CJ Bowler. Gamecocks. Shermer throws behind Pinkney incomplete. Surveys the field, but overthrows Pinkney third down. Look at that acrobatic effort by Pinkney. It's a play in the secondary. Shermer's forced a few balls on this drive, throws this one into coverage, and Lipscomb makes the catch inside the 35. Screen. And stepping in front. Shermer, muddy pocket, and Lipscomb dives ahead inside the 20. 12th play of the drive, a terrible snap. Can Shermer get on it? Ball still alive. The flag is thrown. Shermer just trying to get something off, and it's incomplete, and the Gamecocks get it back. One. With the cancellation of that Marshall game, but they had to reestablish themselves, get back on the right track in conference play. Move past that defeat at the hands of Georgia. You see Kinlaw walking around under his own power over there on the sidelines. There's Bowler. Yeah. 
maybe reference a blitzkrieg defensively. <laughs> Given the, the timing of his writing. <laughs> Wake. Grantland's alma mater, Mr. Rice's alma mater, is going to need some work in the next few weeks as Mo Hassan takes the snap and goes inside the third. Getting that opening conference game victory that has eluded Coach Mason since he's been here. A confident team coming into this one. Kirby Smart's era there as the head coach of Georgia. A landmark victory for the Vanderbilt program. He would lead. He's a little bit reckless with the football, but he can make some tremendous plays. Flag down, free play for Vanderbilt as South Carolina was off sides. Program. And Hassan and Vanderbilt finish with a touchdown. He'll take off inside the 10, and he's tackled at the five-yard line at the end of the game.